Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, and I am on a glitch mission. Uh, it appears that there's problems in the low 1400s. They're all kind of flashing like they want to be timed levels. They've got an hourglass showing under each. And uh, I have a friend who in particular is having difficulty with 1407. So this is for Jennifer. I'm going to see what happens here. Now, because I want to make sure I beat this level, I'm going to use up some of my boosters. Hate to do it with new level Wednesday coming up, but... I want to make sure that I can beat this quickly and see if I can see what she sees. So I'm going to take out all green because using my color bomb right away concentrates the colors. It sent out the little fishy. Hi, little fishy. Now the fish, uh, they become part of the candy mix, so I'm hoping to see them again. I'm going to detonate things. I'm just going to clear out as much as I can as quickly as I can. That's always my mission on this level. Uh, and I'm focusing over here when I'm not dealing with the specials because it's thinner frosting here. And so it's easier to plow through. I'll be able to open up more space wherever there's not a frosting. That means there's a place for a candy. And of course, that means there's more opportunity to make matches and specials. Well, I hate when I can't really hit much frosting at all. Nothing down here. I'm not too worried about the ticking time bombs. You see, I only have 24 moves, and my lowest one right now is 17. That's not a huge issue. If I take care of everything else, I should be able to get through the ticking time bombs. What I need to do is worry about clearing out the frosting. Not even the jelly. The ticking time bombs and the jelly will almost take care of themselves. course making specials where I can. Let's see. And since it's now easier to make specials because I have more open, I really do want to see if I can wait and match things up. But I can't wait too long. Let's see. I'm trying to make some cascading happen here. Oh, well, this is just about to match up. And this will set everything else off as well. Okay, so now this is the only thing I need to worry about. And you can see I'm still not terribly worried about it. Okay, when I take out the blue, it's going to take out the blue and then a secondary color. It's going to concentrate everything. It's going to create, see I didn't have to worry about it. It's going to create specials and more opportunities to make specials. It's going to give me more points than I would ever need. All right, so it looks like this is the area where I need the most focus. I should have waited and let that tick through so I could combine it, but I think we're doing okay anyway. All right, so. This should pretty much beat the level. And then we'll see if it allows me to advance on, because Jennifer was saying she would beat the level and it wouldn't allow her to advance. And that's so frustrating, especially when you're working with a hard level, and of course, especially if you end up using boosters to beat it. Okay, 1407 complete. We go to next. And we don't have access to the next. And if I try refreshing, let's see if it gives me credit for having, well, 
it's since I already have beaten 1407, it's not going to look like hers. So I can trust her when she says it will not allow her to advance. So we're going to go ahead and report this to King Care, and hopefully they can get it taken care of so everyone can get through these levels. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe.